That was a slightly frustrating morning because uh, I kept losing power. And I don't know, I need to kind of troubleshoot the whole uh, power situation. It's not quite right. And if it's not quite right, it means that you're not working at 100%. And <laughs> oh, I need to sit down. And being on a boat by myself, I mean, people go, oh, you came from London by yourself? <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been just me the whole way, but a lot of it has. Um, it's not normal. People don't usually do this um, on on a boat like this with one person, but didn't have a choice most of the time. Anyway, um, and then trying to uh, produce little films that are interesting, informative, witty, professional, whilst doing all the stuff on the boat is way more difficult than people might imagine. Because you've got to keep everything organized, you need constant power, you've got to upload and download, so you've got to have good links. Um, I've got the Starlink, which has been very useful. Uh, I'm now using, right now I'm using um, a cheap Android phone that I bought for 169 euros. And I found a very good um, French mobile uh, system. Um, it gives me mobile data, it gives me 200 gigabytes for 23 euros a, a month. Or if I use it faster, they just like charge me another 23 euros. So every time I use the, the 200 gigabytes, I get charged another 23 euros, which is fantastic. I don't have to think about it. It works. It's so much better than the English one that I had before. They were charging me all sorts of money and Oh yeah, but even getting the French phone was difficult because you've got to have a quotes French address and a French bank account, but by all sorts of finagling and um, whatever, I managed to do it. So that's good. Um, and the data is pretty fast as well. So I, I'm not, it's nothing worse than worrying about how much data you're using because you're like, oh, they're going to charge me like 20 cents a gigabyte if I go over without telling me. And they've already got your credit card number. So, all right. Um, but anyway, it's it's been fun doing this because it's always an exercise in problem management. And I thought I'd got the problems of power all solved, but... I think there's something draining the main battery and I'm not quite sure what it is yet. And when I charge up the solar batteries at like 8 o'clock, they're still light, they're still charging. And then by 10.30, they're done and they're, they're empty again. So I need to pull some wires out and make sure there's nothing like cross-feeding somewhere else that it shouldn't be. So that's always fun. You just kind of want a day or two where there's just no problems and I mean no problems I mean even ice you're like oh at least I can have a car oh, there's no ice Ay. back to power you know it's like sometimes you'll need to conserve power so you'll turn the fridge off for a bit and the first thing to go is the ice ah uh, anyway anyway I think we've got it sorted um, although I say that, I got a feeling that when, one of my engines overheated when I was leaving that last place. And I'm like, why are you overheating? And I checked it and it's not blocked, but I think there might be a lack of water in the cooling system. But I can't do that until I can move the computer off the table because I've got to move the table to get to the... Uh, and get into the engine. Fun times! <laughs>